It is an honor and privilege to welcome you on behalf of Dyersburg State, the nursing faculty and administration to our annual nursing pinning ceremony. Today is a very special day for the 67 nursing graduates. It is also a day for family and friends to celebrate. Graduates, I commend you on your persistence and hard work, and I congratulate you on your successful completion of this educational journey. You have overcome many challenges this year with courage and strength. I challenge you to maintain your positive spirit and love for mankind. You have the ability to make this world a better place. There are many individuals vital to the success and preparation of our nursing graduates. Without the dedication and commitment of Dyersburg State's faculty and staff, today would not be possible. At this time, I would like to invite Dr. Karen Boyer, President of Dyersburg State Community College, to share some opening remarks. The graduates who we're honoring here uh, at this ceremony are part of a growing nursing program at Dyersburg State Community College. For this upcoming fall semester, we anticipate having 224 nursing students enrolled. Um, this, this counts our, our new evening program where we have 24 students enrolled and they began this summer. 67 students are, are graduating being honored in this ceremony today with an Associate of Applied Science in Nursing. We have 26 students who have completed the traditional two-year program, 31 who have com completed the Advanced Standing LPN to RN Fast Track program, and 10 students who completed the Paramedic uh, to RN uh, nursing program. The pinning ceremony is a very exciting time for all of the graduates and certainly all the rest of us at the college. It's a time for our graduates to reflect on all of the, that they've learned and their many accomplishments here at the college and to think about and really anticipate all the new opportunities and challenges which await you 
as you um, uh, enter your first positions as, nur sir, as registered nurses. So graduates, to reach this milestone, you've worked very hard and you've received much needed support from family, friends, classmates, faculty, and staff. We salute all of you who've contributed to the 67 success stories that we're honoring. In particular, I would like to thank uh, Dr. Jan Reed Bunch, our Vice President for the college, Ms. Amy Johnson, who is our Dean of Nursing and, and uh, the other nursing faculty who played a critical part that they, in uh, helping you achieve this uh, new degree and this major accomplishment. So counting the 67 that are graduating, this program has produced 1,927 graduates over the past 39 years. The first graduating class only had 16 students in 1982 under the leadership of Peggy Pendergrast, our first nursing director. And this, this group of 67 really comprised the 70th, the 71st, and the 72nd uh, classes to complete the program. Just think, it's taken us 39 years to produce 1,927 nurses, and this region of West Tennessee is in need of at least 1,000 registered nurses right now. So there's a lot of work to be done, uh, major needs to be met, and just great opportunities for registered nurses. So our classes that we're honoring uh, in this ceremony uh, are comprised of eight men, 59 women, and the average age is 32. The ages range from 20 to 58. They live, uh, our, our graduates are coming from all across West Tennessee, almost every county in West Tennessee, including Shelby County. And they also, we have graduates from DeSoto County in Mississippi, Fulton County in Kentucky, and Mississippi County in Arkansas. These higher credentials lead to the potential for higher earning power. On average, each nurse in these three classes will earn approximately $52,000 in their first year, which means that the economic impact of the salaries of this class for one year alone will be over $3.4 million, and it will be over $104 million for their careers of 30 years. Back in 2013, the, the Wall Street Journal reported that nursing graduates from Dyersburg State not only finished two years earlier than their counterparts at UT Knoxville, but they also earn $5,300 more on average in their first year after graduation. It's not every day that Dyersburg State gets such positive press, especially in the Wall Street Journal. Most of our graduates have passed the state board exam to be registered nurses, Hospital administrators and nursing directors have told me how much they appreciate the nurses from Dyersburg State. They're impressed with the nursing skills, your critical thinking ability, and the positive attitudes of our graduates. You have a great tradition to follow. I know that you're up to the challenge. I wish you great success and Godspeed. At this time, I would like to introduce the class officers. For the traditional program, the president is Andrea Medling. The vice president is April Hamilton. The secretary is Ashley Myers. The treasurer is Chelsea Parker. And the historians are Pauline Castro and Angie Degner. For the LPN to RN Fast Track, the president is Cassie Bergeron. The secretary is Maya Halliburton. And the historians are Tiffany Halliburton and Kaylin Ross. For the paramedic to RN program, the president is Tim Haskins. The vice president is Matthew McClure. The secretary treasurer is Edith Burns and the historian is Colin Haskins. Now we will hear from each class president. Hi, I'm Adrian Medling, the class president for the traditional nursing program. 
All our dreams can come true if we have the courage to pursue them. Walt Disney. Nursing faculty, family, friends, and of course my fellow graduate nurses, it is my absolute honor to stand before you today for this celebration. 24 months ago, a group of strangers walked through the door of Glover 211 and began what we would soon find out to be the best and worst two years of our lives. Nothing could prepare us for what was about to happen. We all had to sacrifice our social lives, our sleep, our sanity, and tears, lots and lots of tears, to gain what I consider the most rewarding title and profession, a nurse. We would soon learn that for a short period of time, our bodies could run off of little to no sleep and an endless supply of energy drinks. Some of us pulled all-nighters, and all of us had to get up extra early for those 6.30 a.m. clinicals in Memphis. Oh, and nothing could possibly prepare us for what the year 2020 had in store. One word, corona. But hey, this is the year of the nurse. Luckily, I didn't have to come up with a campaign slogan to run for this elected position. But if I did, I believe I have found it. Let's make 2020 survivable. Boy, has this year been rough. One thing worse than having to wear a mask to Walmart or Kroger is online nursing school. But we made it through and have achieved the ultimate goal, graduation. Not only did Dyersburg State bring me many new friends, but it also gave me a second family. I hate we did not get to finish out our last semester physically together, but at least we had Zoom. I recently came across a new song by Rascal Flatts, and no, I will not be singing for you. But I do want to share a couple of the lyrics from the end of the song. Did you make them laugh or make them cry? Did you quit or did you try? Live your dreams or let them die. What did you choose? What did you choose? When it all comes down, it ain't if, it's how they remember you. Most of the people we will come in contact with in this profession will be having either the worst day of their lives or the best day of their lives. And the one thing they will remember is how you, their nurse, treated them during that time. So I encourage you all to go out there, give your very best at all times, and you will excel in this career. One last thing. Before I started this program, someone asked me, why a nurse? What does that even mean to you? So I found the best Pinterest quote for that. Being a nurse means you will never be bored. You will always be frustrated. You will be surrounded by challenges, so much to do in so little time. You will carry immense responsibility and very little authority. You will step into people's lives and you will make a difference. Some will bless you, some will curse you. You will see people at their worst and at their best. You will never cease to be amazed at people's capacity for love, courage, and endurance. You will see life begin and end. You will experience resounding triumphs and devastating failures. You will cry a lot and you will laugh a lot. You will know what it means to be human and what it means to be humane. You will have the most rewarding job in the world. Congratulations to the ones who have already taken their NCLEX and passed and to the ones who still have to take it, you've got this. Thank you again, it has been a pleasure to be your class president. Hi, I'm Cassie Bergeron, and I'm the president of the LPN to RN Fast Track Class of 2020 here at Dyersburg State Community College. I want to be begin by saying thank you to my amazing classmates for selecting me to represent you and speak on your behalf. It's truly an honor, and I'm humbled to be given this opportunity. I would also like to recognize and thank our awesome nursing staff and faculty. You ladies go above and beyond <clears throat> for us and we appreciate your guidance and dedication more than you know. Last but certainly not least, I'd like to thank our families, friends, and support systems. Without your unwavering support and encouragement, we could not have accomplished this feat. When my classmates and I embarked on this journey a little over a year ago, we had a small glimpse of an idea of what to expect since we had all already completed LPN school. Now I can say with complete confidence, we had no clue. We had no idea what awaited us all, and I'm not just talking about COVID-19. We couldn't have predicted the lifelong bonds that we would form, the lasting impressions that would be made upon us, the strangers that would become friends and extended family. 
the hardships that we would see one another through, the ones we would lose along the way, the laughter, tears, joy, sadness, and prayers that we would all share. We didn't know that when 2020 was proclaimed to be the year of the nurse, just how true that would turn out to be and how different the meaning of that proclamation would become. I posed a question to my classmates a few months ago. I asked them, what does being a nurse mean to you? It holds a different meaning for us all. I was curious to discover what made them choose nursing to begin with and what makes them continue to choose it every day. Some of us chose nursing to advocate for others. Some of us just have that overwhelming desire to fix things. Some said being a nurse means giving your all even when you have nothing left to give and listening when no one else will listen. Some of us were called to nursing by witnessing our sick and dying loved ones be cared for by nurses. Some of us never had a dream of becoming a nurse. We just sort of stumbled into it and fell in love. Some said taking care of others brings them happiness. I'd like to quote my classmate, Teresa. Teresa said, what a wonderful thing to be a nurse and help others. The hands I have held, the tears I have dried, the stories I have been privileged to listen to over the years. I can never begin to describe it, but to say how rewarding and how blessed I have been to just help others. That's what matters, being God's servant to those in need. Although our reasons for becoming nurses differ and our ideas of what it means to be a nurse vary, we all have this in common. We are the caring. We care for the sick, the sad, the dying. We care for the new little lives entering our world. We care for the mamas and daddies, the grandparents, the children, the siblings. We care for the lonely, the homeless, the rich and the poor. We care for the hopeful and the hopeless. We are the faces that they see, the eyes that they look to, and the hands that they hold. We are their advocates and their voices. We are their nurses. I can't think of anything else I'd rather be, and I can't think of anything else that my extraordinary classmates and I should be. We not only earned this, we were made for it. Congratulations, guys, we did it. Hi, my name is Tim Haskins, and I'm the 2020 class president for the Paramedic to RN Bridge Program. The class of 2020 has been a really special class. This group has endured uh, many problems, such as the great toilet paper shortage and also battling a pandemic while studying for exams, sometimes two or three a week. Every single person in our program has faced hardships along the way and setbacks, and in some cases, uh, mental breakdown. Uh, all of this has made us stronger, and at last, graduation is here. I'd like to thank Ms. Davis. Ms. Davis has always been there for us, and in some cases, drug us cr kicking and screaming uh, to this moment. Also, thanks to Ms. Smith and Ms. Uh, Dean Johnson as well, uh, who had had a hand in molding us along the way, helping us become the nurses we hope to be. So let me introduce you to the class of 2020. First off, we have the Vice President, Matthew McClure, Matthew is one of the funniest people that I've ever met in my whole life. His sarcasm is only exceeded by his love of cats. Miss Edith Burns, treasurer. Edith is as smart as she is sweet. She has made this program look extremely easy. She was re referred to often as a Disney princess on clinicals with Miss Wanda Smith, and I would say that's fairly accurate. Historian Colin Haskins. Colin completed this program with five children at home. She has an amazing husband who is also in this program. She has been there for all of us at one point or another throughout this year. Sherry Vanderpool. Sherry was the voice of reason many times in our class along the way and has talked more than one of us off of a ledge a time or two. We couldn't have made it without her. And Miss Rachel Webb. Many have said that redheaded women are crazy and Rachel has done very little to disprove this. 
She's the DSCC 2020 eye rolling champion. Kenneth Mauser. Kenneth has single-handedly negotiated back more questions on tests than all of the class combined. He is probably on the phone with ATI now trying to negotiate points back on the last test. Miss Amanda Johansson. Amanda got married during the program, which shows just how brave she is. Amanda is quiet, but she's a great leader, and she was fantastic on clinicals with us and with the patients. Corey Pierce. Corey is just an all-around, genuinely nice guy. Corey is known for his tremendous Jeopardy skills and his inability to say the word horror. And last but not least, Miss Emily Kimbrough, AKA Eminem. Emily is super sweet, but as we learned during the program, when she gets upset, a whole nother side of her can come out, which inspired quite a few laughs along the way. And that is your paramedic to RN graduating class. I would like to thank all of our spouses, families, and friends for helping us get to this point. We could not have done it without any of you guys. Thank you. During each of these ceremonies, each class, and as I mentioned, we have a traditional class, an LPN to RN class, and a paramedic to RN class. Each of these classes picks a person who they call friend of nursing someone that's just really supported them and helped them through, through their program. And we have a person that has often won this award, and this year she happens to win the award from each of the classes. And her name is Brenda Springfield, and she is our custodian in the Glover Building where uh, these classes meet. So Brenda, uh, congratulations once again for uh, a clean sweep of three classes choosing you as their friend of nursing. Hi, I'm Jackie Watson, Associate Professor of Nursing with Dyersburg State. I'm here today to announce the Scholastic Award. The Scholastic Award is given to the student with the highest cumulative grade point average at the end of the third semester. The grade point average includes all courses in the nursing curriculum. The recipient for the Scholastic Award for the traditional cohort is Ms. Tori Palmer with a 3.61. For the LPN to RN cohort, we have two recipients, Ms. Cynthia Ralph with a 3.61 and Ms. Lindsay Molins 3.60. For our paramedic to RN cohort, we have Miss Edith Burns with a 3.87. Congratulations to you all. Hi, I'm Dr. Christy Hamilton and I will be presenting the Peggy Pendergrass Faculty Award. Ms. Peggy Norman Pendergrass was the founding director of the Dyersburg State Community College Nursing Program. She was born on July 30th, 1931. Ms. Pendergrass received her Bachelor of Science degree in nursing from the University of Tennessee School of Nursing in 1956. She later received her Master of Science in Nursing Education in 1963 from the University of Indiana. Ms. Pendergrass began at Dyersburg State in July 1979 and served as chairperson of the Division of Nursing until 1990 when she decided to retire from the nursing profession. Sadly, she passed away in August of 2011. The Peggy N. Pendergrass Faculty Award, given by the Division of Nursing, is to recognize a graduating student who is best described as first among equals. The recipient is one who, in the belief of the faculty, will make a contribution to the profession of nursing through the individual's practice of nursing. We feel that the recipients have demonstrated the qualities which are essential for effective nursing practice. The faculty has seen a commitment not only of talents and abilities, but also of self. The recipient of the Peggy N. Pendergrass Faculty Award for the traditional RN class is Chastity Young. The recipient of the Peggy N. Pendergrass Faculty Award for the LPN RN is Cynthia Ralph. 
the recipient of the Peggy N. Pendergrass Faculty Award for the Paramedic to RN Fast Track is Edith Burns. Thank you very much. Hello, I'm Tammy Hines, Associate Professor of Nursing here at Dyersburg State Community College. It is my pleasure to announce the winners of the Clinical Practice Award for the graduating classes. I will be um, awarding three um, separate awards, one for each class or cohort. The Clinical Practice Award is given to a student that has been voted and selected by the nursing faculty. While it's often difficult to put into one's uh, words and concepts of nursing, it's more clearly evident by the way the individual practices nursing. With that, it's what the nurse does with and for the patient. In selecting the recipient of the Clinical Practice Award, the nursing faculty feel the following qualities were um, evident. The practice of nursing as a humanistic art and science. The recognition of each person as an individual and acceptance and demonstration of legal, ethical, and professional accountability. The Clinical Practice Award for the traditional class goes to Franklin Williams. Congratulations. The recipient of the Clinical Practice Award for the Advanced Standing LPN to RN is Miss Lindsay Hunt. Congratulations, Lindsay. And lastly, the recipient of the Clinical Practice Award for the Paramedic to RN a class is Miss Sherry Vanderpool. Congratulations, Sherry. Please join me in congratulating all of these three students. Thank you. Hello, my name is Christy Hamm. I'm an Associate Professor of Nursing at Dyersburg State, and I'm going to be introducing the Friendship Award. The Friendship Award is chosen by the graduating class. This award is given to a nursing student who has been a friend to all. They have brought encouragement and support throughout their time in the program. The May 2020 traditional class has chosen Miss Chastity Young. The May 2020 LPN to RN class has chosen Miss Callie Henson. The August 2020 Paramedic to RN class has chosen Miss Colin Haskins. Congratulations to all the recipients of the Friendship Award. And now we will have the presentation of the traditional RN graduates. Kalia Boyd, Gabby Bueno, Pauline Castro, Angie Degner, Alex Diaz, Candace Emery, Emily Gorman, Alexis Grady, Carly Grooms, April Hamilton, Brian Inman, Melanie King, Kelsey Lyle, 
Abby Marshall, Andrea Medling, Bailey Moore, Ashley Myers, Tori Palmer, Chelsea Parker, Lindia Riddle, Natasia Brud, Hannah Shipley, Lacey Sublet, Franklin Williams, Abby Wright, Chastity Young. Congratulations. And now we'll have the presentation of the LPN RN graduates. Carla Allen. Jennifer Barnes. Sarah Batista. Cassie Bergeron. Alicia Cherry. Carmen Cowart. Sierra Crownover. Jessica Deason. Teresa Eckham. Taylor Fortune. Maya Halliburton. Tiffany Halliburton. Callie Henson. Candace Humphrey. Bria Humphreys. Lindsay Hunt. Maury Mashburn Foster. Jerry McCall. Kelly McCoy. Lindsay Mullins. Ashley Mullen. Brianna Pittman. Cindy Ralph. Heather Ramirez. Kaylin Ross. Pamela Shane. Hope Thomas. Katie Thurmond. Fallon Turner. Janelle Watkins. Jonathan Yacht. Congratulations. Good day, I'm Michelle Davis, the Assistant Professor for the Paramedic to RN program and I'm here to present today the Paramedic to RN students that have graduated from our program. Edith Burns. Colin Haskins. Tim Haskins. Amanda Johansson. Emily Kimbrough. Matthew McClure. Kenneth Mauser. Corey Pierce. Sherry Vanderpool, Rachel Webb. Congratulations, we are so proud of you. Florence Nightingale was the pioneer of modern nursing. Born to a wealthy and well-connected British family in Italy, she was forbidden to study nursing a career with a poor reputation and one filled mostly by poor women. Being a brilliant and strong-willed woman committed to her calling, she studied nursing in secret. In December of 1844, Nightingale became the leading advocate 
for improved medical care in the infirmaries for those in need. Her work inspired public support throughout England. She always carried a Grecian lamp as she tirelessly worked into the night visiting and caring for injured soldiers. She became widely known as the Lady with the Lamp. Florence Nightingale made a lasting contribution to the nursing profession, setting an example of commitment and dedication to patient care for all nurses that followed her. And at this time, we would like to ask all nursing graduates, nursing students, and nurses to join us with the Nightingale Pledge. I solemnly pledge myself before God and in the presence of this assembly to pass my life in purity and to practice my profession faithfully. I will abstain from whatever is deleterious and mischievous and will not take or knowingly administer any harmful drug. I will do all in my power to maintain and elevate the standard of my profession and hold in confidence all personal matters committed to my keeping and all family affairs coming to my knowledge in the practice of my calling. With loyalty, I will devote myself to the welfare of those committed to my care.